So this is the air traffic management system Galaxy, and it is more or less it is a standard one. It is based on Euro control requirements, Euro control specification, and also we have uh, some local Russian. Uh, additional requirements. But the main aspect of the system is uh, that all calculations are carried out in a three-dimensional space in accordance with WGS84 model of the Earth. And uh, this leads us the possibility to have processing system that has no limitations in geographical area of data processing. So we can process data on a big territory, for example, like a big territory of the Russian Federation or in uh, oceanic areas. Uh, most, uh, most of the existing systems, they are using two-dimensional projections, like a stereographical projection or um, Gauss-Kruger projection to a two-dimensional space. But it's not a reality. The reality, we are living in a three-dimensional world. And if you will take a skin from the orange and will try to make it flat on the table, it will be distorted. This what what happens with surveillance and flight plan data processing if you are working in a two-dimensional space. And because we are processing data in a three-dimensional space, we have no limitations in geographical area of data processing. And your data is with uh operation around the world, different places? Yes, it is. It, is. it was uh, put into operation in uh, the countries that are Eurocontrol members, for example, in Armenia. We have uh, the system that w is in operation since 2013. Uh, we have the ongoing projects uh, in Egypt, in Cuba, in South Korea, and of course in Russia. And does it do airflow management as well? Yes, but flow management is a separate one. So we have air traffic management system and flow management systems also. And this is an air traffic management system? Yes, this one. And so it will track an aircraft throughout its route? Yes, so it can track the aircraft uh, all over the world. The only, the only problem is that we have to, to be connected to surveillance sensors, like primary or secondary surveillance radars, multi-alteration system or ADSB.